of uh, what the Cyrus is and uh, why you built it. Okay. Uh, Cyrus is, of course, uh, the new. Uh, <laughs> is the, the new uh, Amiga OS form. Just be glad we're not connecting those other parts of your body. <laughs> What you're holding in your hand is actually the Cyrus Revision 1 board. Okay. This was the first prototype board. And uh, our initial, original concept was to have a smaller board uh, which would uh, could support s uh, multiple free scale P3, P5, and that's that there, CPUs. Okay. Um, now, this was actually produced last year. In fact, I brought this to Ami West last year and secretly showed a few people, and it was just hot off the press from Varus's. I have to admit, I was one of them. Thank yeah. you. Okay. I appreciate that. Um, so when people were saying, oh, nothing's happening, you know, of course, behind the scenes, we knew things were happening. Um, having said that, um, as always, these things take a lot longer than you expect. And uh, because this board was supposed to support um, three uh, freescale CPUs, it needed to have certain lines in place. An error was made, and there we are. We have an interposer board in to try and correct that error just for the prototypes. So uh, for the prototypes, they were working on that. And as you see, it's good old Varisys with the, the name, the, uh, our um, manufacturers there, uh, Adam Barnes' names will be there, plus the other developers, James Felix probably, some others. And if you turn it round, in typical, uh, can't really see it, but that says breezing. Uh, in uh, in uh, the, uh, the meager tradition, we have a B-52 song. Uh, let's see, the 500 was Rock Lobster. Rock Lobster. And the 200. Channel, twel was it Channel Z? Channel Z, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's yeah. One of those are, B-52 And of course, songs. the uh, uh, let's, keep this car let's Keep This Party Going, of course, was on the Nemo motherboard. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, and even the new uh, Prisma Mega Mix board, Mega Mix, is a B-52. Okay. Yeah, so, so we're trying to keep the tradition going. So let's uh, just do a quick tour of the board yeah, here. Yeah. Um, do you, uh, is this a good view for you? On the okay. Well, okay. Bear, I'll hold it and you can bearing in mind, this is revision one. Okay. Revision two has uh, a lot more, uh, a lot more I/O in it. So, uh, uh, what we've got here, obviously, is twin DDR3 uh, RAM slots, and so uh, it will support, obviously, uh, eight gig cards. So there's 16 gig, and in theory, it could go higher because it's true 64 bit. So we've got DDR3 RAM. It's got our Xeno, our, our XMOS chip, our Xeno chip. And of course, it's got a Zorro slot in, in, in line with it. Um, obviously, uh, PCIe, it's PCIe times 16 slot. PCIe video cards. for the video card for our yeah. RAID and HD cards. Uh, a regular PCI slot. Uh, but of course, with the Cirrus Plus board, Cyrus Plus, you've got uh, another PCIe. It's uh, more PCIe expresses and uh, all the other things there. This one's showing a, an SD card, but the Cir Cyrus Plus has a micro SD card in a different place, and that's where the firmware will be, be stored, obviously. Um, if look at the top there, obviously, we've got six external uh, USB 2, six external USB 2. And one uh, and two internal USB two. And these are serial ports. Uh, dual serial ports, but on uh, we've taken that away on the Cyrus Plus board. There's only a single serial port. Okay. Um, what else have we got in here that we can really point to? So I see that we have a uh, we have dual SATA. Du uh, yes, dual SATA. Yeah. At the bottom there, yeah. I notice we have the clock button up here. Yep. Um, any other interesting hardware features? I'm just trying to look at them. Think of it. Not on this board, really. I mean, there's no south bridge. Okay. So it's uh, SOC. This does it all. Um, uh, on this board, though, um, maybe we shouldn't have done it. Maybe we should have done it. Uh, the the audio is PCI. We did that deliberately uh, because we we wanted uh, to have something up and running very quickly. Uh, but the Ethernet is from the the CPU. So my understanding is a lot of the modern video cards actually have audio capability built into they them. They do actually. Is that supported today? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not, actually, I, I, I was going to say yes, because I know that, so, well, sorry, 
On the Linux it is, yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's a driver question. It's a driver question. So that would be another way of users getting a sound card is by using a high-end video card that has sound built in. Yes, because a number of my... Uh, I, I've tested about 15 uh, uh, Radeon HD cards uh, in my X1000, and under, under some of the Linux distributions, you do see the... Uh, the uh, this audio output on the sound card. Yeah. So, what form factor is this board right now? Uh, well, the this one I was going to say micro ATX. I think it's a little big for micro. You think it's a bit bigger than micro? Mm, I don't know. It's bigger. It's bigger than the Sam. It's bigger than the Sam. Yes. So it's not a mini no, ATX. Yeah. Or a it's a special ATX. then. It's a special. It's an ATX form factor. Yeah, yeah, but it's, but it's not full ATX. No, it's not. No, because the, the full ATX brings it out to here. So this is, is this the first release board? You mentioned the other one with additional, is it coming out at the same time? What's the, no. what will I be able to buy in a few months? No, what we're going to do is, it all comes down to cost. It's much, believe it or not, it's much cheaper to have one board for everything. One board. Yes. So it's all going to be the same size. So you're going to make a larger ATX board with additional slots. Yep. And uh, when I purchase this from the various dealers, what will I be buying? What are my options? Uh, well, it's up to the dealer, of course. One, one stick of RAM, two sticks of RAM, different sizes, different uh, Raid HD cards, different audio cards. So I heard that you're also going to be selling it board only, as yes, well we as are. in kit. Yes, we are. So, um, so for those like people who want to mm. save a little money on the overall package, maybe have some existing cases that they might want to put this board into, yeah. they'll be able to buy just the board. Exactly. And that'll include an OS4 license. Uh, uh, you've had, you must have an OS4 license. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's yeah. a board plus license, like yeah. today with the SAM system. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Personally, I prefer to pr pr supply the whole system, but I realize the need to you know, shipping costs, well, the size I mean, boxes. So for, for uh, users who are more interested in, less interested in hardware tinkering and tinkering the operating system, selling complete board is a lot better. Yes. Working power supplies, you're going to get the audio card, you're going to yeah. get the video, and you're, you're also going to get working system. memory. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and of course, you, you, less chance for finger trouble. Yeah, exactly. Yes, that, that does happen when you're playing with computers. That you yeah, might. yeah, they do, they do. And we've all had the problem from time to time. You know, we've all made the mistake. So, time frame. Uh, are we going to have these for sale next to Amy West? Oh, yeah. If, if we haven't, there's a real problem. <laughs> uh, Summer, I mean, yeah. how close do you want to get there? Beta test program. Uh, the, 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 the long lead time, we've actually pre-paid, we're pre-paying for all the long lead tied items in the uh, the build so uh, we've got yeah cpu 16 weeks on the cpu you know 10 year availability but 16 weeks delivery <laughs> <laughs> and and we're getting good pricing from viruses on the cpu in fact they've, we've negotiated good pricing from freescale okay they, they gave us a thousand off pricing nice which is good a thousand off the total order <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, we appreciate. So I'm, I'm thinking. Um, well, the plan is that uh, beta test systems to delivery uh, uh, beginning of the year. I mean, be like January. -ish, Matthew, Matthew January says first quarter. It's supposed to be the beginning of the year. Yeah. And then how long do you t anticipate the beta test program running for? Well, last time with Nemo, effectively it ran for about six months. Uh, uh, but by the time the the commercial systems came out, you know, customers got a really stable system. Yeah. You know? Uh, factually, the beta test has got a pretty stable system, to be honest, right. uh, because of other other delays in the whole program. So, so let me ask in a different way. Mm. Obviously, um, the main target for the board is OS4. Linux is going to work. Yeah, yep. So the question becomes: um, Are you confident that your partners in Hyperion will be able to meet your delivery dates so that they'll come out about the same time? They have new owners. <laughs> Their new owners look at bottom lines. Okay. So they have to meet their targets. Who has new owners? Uh, oh, Hyperion. Sorry, I think they're Varisys. No, no, no. Varisys, you announced. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So Hi I'm saying the Hyperion's partners who are writing the operating system. Because it's a chicken and the egg. You need the board first, then they go write it. Uh, do you mm. anticipate them coming roughly together and, and meeting uh, a launch target? Yeah, well, um, I would think the, the, the kernel's ported. Yeah. yeah. So that's the really, uh, sorry, that's the really uh, interesting one. And then, of course, it's all the drivers. Yeah. Uh, so um, the drivers will come as the drivers come. Uh, so it sounded like, from this, mm, from your perspective, mm, the most risky driver is that Ethernet one because that's a new chip that's in here. Yeah. But everything else should be maybe the USB is a little bit well, tougher. But with the, again, we go back to the Nemo. Uh, you've got a, a larger size board. You can throw in a PCI network card and a PCI SAM card. So that you can bypass yeah, that. Go, I mean, yeah. everyone wants it all integrated. I mean, that's the goal. I want it integrated. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you've got that, at least we've got something up and running. 
So you mentioned a number of different CPU choices. Is the plan to launch with a choice here, or is it going to launch with one and then In a follow-on? In the one? first batch, we've ordered uh, 500. We've actually prepaid for 500. Okay. Uh, but we've uh, 400. We've actually fixed as 5020s. So the last hundred is up in the air. You're going to last hundred we can. Make see what the, slower depending. Yeah. Okay. depending. I mean, the 5040 is not really available in the wild. Gotcha. Uh, not, so not, ready not for it. commercially in the wild. I it's see. available for developers. Okay. So we want we want that as a, as an option as an option. But the 3041 uh, is available, and that's been that board's been bought up now by Varus. Awesome. Yeah. I'll take one of those. <laughs> but uh, okay, thank you very much. I think this is a good uh, oh, and walk through. Sorry about my voice. Yeah. Somebody led me astray last night. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said, yeah. Thanks very much. Just check his work. Check his work. Okay, I, I shall do that as soon as I get out of the way. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs>